to be a front runner, in my opinion, you need to have the passion and the determination to work on the things that you are passionate in. So try your best and always have that end goal in mind. Hi, I'm Tasia and I'm 22 years old. I just graduated from Bachelor's of Psychology in 2020 in December. So after completing my internship last year, now I'm working as an ABA therapist in Autism Behavioral Center. I joined the debate club since I was in Foundation in Arts in Taylor's. I remember when I went to the expo, the club and society's expo, in my head I was like, I want to join the debate club because that's something that I've always wanted to go to. So I've been in the debate club since until my uh, second year of my degree. I started debating when I was in high school, but then I feel like um, in high school there were a lot of limitations to debating. Like it could be the funding, or it's just because you're in a, you're still in school. There's just not a lot of opportunities for you to go out as compared to university. So when I entered university, one of my main goal was to go further in debating, and that's one of the reasons why I choose Taylor's because I thought at that point the Taylor's Debate Club was already very established and I feel that I want to be a part of the debate club. So that time two Taylor's teams uh, made it to the open category of World University's debating championship and we were the only Malaysian team to make into that category. Like there was a time where my lecturer said something and I was slightly offended by it and I was thinking, should I tell the lecturer because I'm a bit scared because I feel like it's a bit intimidating for a student to come up to the lecturer and tell them that, uh, you know, you said something that I found offensive. So I remember that time during class I was thinking, should I tell this lecturer or not? I was contemplating the whole time during class and then after class I decided to tell that lecturer and then the first response that the lecturer said was that, oh, uh, I'm sorry that I offended you and like I feel that at that moment of time I was just so touched because I really look up to my lectures a lot so when they apologize for something that they did for me it's just very touching and very admiring the fact that they are willing to admit what they did and also even like apologize to us I think that's very that's a very admirable trait because I don't think like not everyone can do that to other people, yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! It's really so weird. <laughs> they asked me to come. Oh, really? Surprise. Ah. <laughs> Just now they asked, do you mind telling us who the lecturer is? And I'm like, I don't know if I should. <laughs> So my advice for students is to figure out what they like and to choose things based on their passion because I think choosing what you like is important for you to enjoy the whole process. If you don't like what you're doing, it's very hard to be motivated in it. But if you don't have the chance to choose, then I would say try to find the small things that you can find happiness or joy in in what you're doing. So yeah, my biggest advice is to know what you like and to pursue what you like.